Hello, this is World University and Schools monthly business meeting on third Saturdays at 12 noon Eastern time, 9 a.m. Pacific time, 9.30 p.m. I think India time. And it's open if you'd like to join us. Check out Twitter or ask to receive the WUAS monthly business meeting emailings. And as we begin in a few minutes, I'd just like to see if anyone is seeking to join us right now in the Zoom video conference. And World University in School is MIT Open Courseware centric in its four languages and also like Wikipedia in its 300 languages approximately and has been in Wikidata, Wikipedia's backend structured knowledge database uh, since around 2015, which is potentially a resource for artificial intelligence data and machine learning data uh, for training purposes too uh, in Wikipedia's 300 languages and Wiki World University in School, Wiki World University in School has about 750 pages in English on the web that are Wiki, open teaching and learning schools where you can teach uh, that will eventually connect more fully with Wikidata as a backend structured AI and machine learning knowledge database. And as we grow into all 7,168 known living languages uh, as wiki schools for speakers of all of these 7,168 known living languages and to build community. Uh, so World University and School is seeking to plant trees, virtual trees, uh, and grow a forest online, physical trees as well, uh, in our creation of this online free university. Uh, this is, these are our two logos and World University and School's uh, current web pages for both wings, worlduniversityandschool.org and the academic press at World University and School, also our WUAS educational services stores uh, with our three Lego robotics kits with Lego education robotics language um, on the academic press wiki subject page, the beginning of our WUAS educational services stores. Uh, two of these kits have been required, uh, uh, <laughs> retired and they're only um, when we uh, came to become an authorized reseller of Lego Robotics, our, um, we could potentially only sell in uh, the USA, but World University and School of WUAS Educational Services Stores is seeking to make Lego Robotics kits available in all 200 countries and in their main languages and both physically. Uh, so eventually with on the ground WUAS educational services stores, but also potentially through the mail uh, initially. Um, and with virtual Lego robotics kits available through the WUAS educational services stores, and even in an innovative way through a realistic virtual earth for Lego robotics. Uh, which would, and that's a hashtag in Twitter. Uh, and this would allow us to uh, offer students the opportunity to, to explore machine learning and um, artificial intelligence in say Google Street View with Time Slider um, in remarkable new ways where students could begin to train Lego robotics kits, Lego robotics builds they make 
to drive through Google Street View with Time Slider, uh, almost with uh, out having drivers. So learning students learning to code for artificial intelligence and machine learning and even agency or uh, some sort of personal action on the part of the vehicle, uh, their robot builds, for example. So that's uh, a beginning to MIT OpenCourseWare Centric World University and Schools monthly business meeting today. Um, let me proceed with the agenda. Um, so next steps ahead uh, for World University and School include um, having my having applied for a Stanford Law Codex Stanford Fellowship position uh, for the 2024-2025 year that would uh, allow in my application, which is about a page and a half long and you can read it online, World University and School to focus on legal questions. And this is with regard to World University and Schools plan 200 online law schools and teaching legal tech. And uh, also in a remarkable opportunity in a Stanford Law School with Stanford Engineering uh, collaboration, this Stanford Law Codex Fellowship that I applied for would allow World University and School to potentially build out uh, our 42 World University and School majors that uh, World University and School put together out of CC4 MIT OpenCourseWare's courses into potentially Stanford's academic courses, academic departments, which number about 80. So potentially uh, with also a law and pre-law focus uh, at World University and School for our eventual matriculating students online from all 200 countries. So that's all in this Stanford Law Codex uh, Fellowship application. Check it out uh, if you're interested in next steps for World University and School as we seek to uh, eventually hire and employ about 2.5 million people in all over 50 to 75 years from all 200 countries and from all 7,000 languages. And even as we eventually seek to code for all 7.9 billion people on the planet, each a Wikidata pin number, and for UBI experiments to end poverty and potentially uh, therefore opening wiki schools and wiki teaching and learning people to people among all 7.9 billion people on the planet with possibly Stanford mind pi cryptocurrency as universal basic income experiments to end poverty among all these 7.9 billion people. So I'll come to this further in monthly business meeting later on in this hour, but agenda item one, um, glad World University and School is glad to have met for the second, uh, the Acceleration Project curated coaching meeting on Thursday, January 18th, 2024. And World University and School was first invited via Stanford Alban Latino Business Action Network in a Chase, JP Morgan Chase Bank collaboration. Uh, and we met uh, World University and School and curated coaching the Acceleration Project met on Friday, December 8th, 2023 for the first time with Jenny Ling. And uh, after meeting on Thursday, January 18th, 2024, we have now a business plan template 
for World University in School. Thanks to Samantha G at the Acceleration Project. And potentially because also uh, in a, seeking to accredit further, we have the green light for this with Middle States Commission on Higher Education and in the, with offices in the greater Philadelphia area and uh, licensure with the state of Pennsylvania's Department of Education for which we have um, received authorization, but we haven't paid the fees to either of these organizations. Uh, Middle States Commission on Higher Education um, for further world university and school further accreditation seeks a business plan. Uh, so we now have this business plan template um, but we don't have anyone necessarily to uh, give this business plan uh, to in order to not only develop this business plan for WUS Middle States Commission on Higher Education Accreditation, but also to start getting monies uh, to grow World University and School uh, as part of this business plan. But perhaps JP Morgan Chase Bank uh, which is in collaboration with the Acceleration Project Curated Coaching and with World University and School having met twice with uh, Acceleration Project Curated Coaching now um, will be a source for this. Perhaps uh, even in all 200 countries and in their main languages as World University and School seeks to grow our online WUS educational services stores, physical digital in all these countries, and seeks to uh, begin to matriculate, enroll WUAS students. And for the following degrees, bachelor, PhD, law, medicine, IB high school or similar, AAAS, Associate of Science, Associate of Arts, two-year undergraduate degree, master's degree, where students would be studying from home in their main, in their country's main languages uh, from all 200 countries. So uh, World University and School is um, also seeking potentially uh, to reach out brainstorming wise uh, to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, greater Western Pennsylvania, prospective students for free online MIT open courseware centric WUAS degrees from home, possibly with two flagship WUAS educational services stores in Pittsburgh. And one might be on Walnut Street in Shadyside, community of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and the other might be in a recently closed Walmart in the Waterworks Mall near the Fox Chapel suburb of Shadyside, of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, sorry. Uh, Fox Chapel is where a high achieving high school Shadyside Academy is, which I went to in the second half of the 1970s. And World University and School WS educational services stores would seek to reach out to students with uh, free MIT OpenCourseWare centric WUAS degrees, perhaps from the fronts, the storefronts of these flagship WUAS educational services stores uh, as we seek to matriculate students. And it's possible that students initially will be able to matriculate uh, simply by doing a Lego Robotics Spike Prime course uh, that would show their interest in further proceeding with free online degrees at World University and School. Uh, Lego Spike Prime Robotics kits cost about $400. And while our degrees, our WUS degrees are planned due to the to be free due to the CC4 licensing of the MIT OpenCourseWare uh, courses, uh, we are going to uh, seek students that students actually get um, potentially in the richer countries, their own Lego robotics kits 
uh, potentially from WUAS educational services stores. And in seeking to be, in planning to be free due to the CC4 licensing to students for free degrees of, um, thanks to the MIT Open Courseware courses, World University and School uh, is going to seek reimbursement from uh, departments of education, not only in Western Pennsylvania counties, in the state of Pennsylvania, in all 50 US states, uh, departments of education in all 200 countries, uh, but potentially in the poorer countries uh, as we seek to matriculate students there and possibly by taking a Lego robotics course from Lego Spike Prime from their homes in any of 200 countries in the world, uh, it's possible their departments of education, these countries' departments of education uh, in the poorest countries will help with Lego uh, buying, purchasing Lego Spike Prime robotics kits from World University and School, for example. And it's possible that a realistic virtual earth for Lego robotics uh, will help facilitate um, access to Lego robotics as well as World University and School seeks to grow out this realistic virtual earth for Lego robotics. And I've been in touch a number of times recently with Lego education robotics. I'm excited about Lego robotics uh, in Google Street View with Time Slider. Uh, it will be very fun for students to code their robots to move through this realistic virtual earth in very innovative ways. And Lego Robotics has said that they would uh, one day perhaps head in this direction. And in communication also with Peter Norvig, uh, with his Lego Institute 2, uh, I'm hoping this will be sooner and then later, and as World University and School seeks to matriculate students in these regards. So communication further with curated coaching at the Acceleration Project um, and regarding free online WUAS degrees to students from all countries and also potentially Lego robotics kits as a way to do a first course to in, matriculate into, to enroll at World University and School. Uh, World University and School is also potentially a planning for Stanford Mind Pi cryptocurrency, uh, which you can begin to get free money daily from with this URL, mindpi.com forward slash SGKMAC. Um, and as World University and School uh, seeks to plan for Stanford Mind Pi cryptocurrency to become a main worldwide single cryptocurrency in all 200 countries, and for speakers even of all 7,168 known living languages, uh, each a Wikidata, each person a Wikidata pin number, all 7.9 billion people, if at all possible, at wiki.worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash wiki forward slash u underscore at underscore world underscore university. Uh, so these ideas have further come out of the acceleration project at curated coaching uh, and our communications recently. Uh, exciting opportunities as World University and School seeks to grow in these directions and credit and matriculate our first large classes soon. Agenda item two, uh, aging reversal genetic drug therapies now, and for example, for muscle wasting, for vision, for hearing, for energy, and all eight to 10 aspects of aging that George Church in an one minute interview with Scott Pelley in 60 minutes that's online shares, including 
uh, faster reaction times and cognition questions. Uh, how can World University and School help to facilitate aging reversal genetic drug therapies for muscle wasting, say for aging people, and for vision and aging reversal genetic drug therapies for hearing and aging genetic aging reversal genetic drug therapies for these eight to ten uh, proven uh, ways where aging reversal genetic drugs have an initial um, proven efficacy that George Church talks about in this 60 minutes, 60 second video online. And also aging reversal genetic drug therapies for energy and aging reversal genetic drugs for extreme longevity as well. Also uh, extreme longevity genetic drugs that are on, that are emerging, but uh, Will they uh, be FDA approved by 2030, the early ones, the initial ones? Uh, stay tuned. Uh, this is uh, an exciting possibility. It might emerge further out of the coronavirus pandemic with all the very quick uh, to product vaccines that we produced for SARS-CoV-2 and the knowledge of how vaccines work in the body uh, newly. Uh, could all of this emerge into aging reversal and extreme longevity drugs? And further in these regards, how could MIT Open Course for Eccentric Wiki World University and Schools planned academic medical center for 200 online medical schools and 200 online teaching hospitals and, w and the WUS Longevity Genetics Institute in Canyon 94516, about eight miles southeast of Berkeley, generate these such drugs, such aging reversal and extreme longevity drugs from a physical digital realistic virtual earth for pharmacology and a physical digital realistic virtual earth for genomics also and think at the Street View, Google Street View level with time side of the Google cell view level, the Google molecular view uh, levels, and with even little Pegman in Google Street View becoming avatar agent electronic health records for all 7.9 billion people. Uh, agenda item 2A, um, what does lifelong learning mean? Uh, as the prospect for extreme longevity with uh, genetic drugs therapies emerges, what will it entail? Uh, and how to plan for extreme longevity and lifelong learning um, with such prospects? Lifelong learning uh, is an old uh, way of thinking about education since the 1960s and 70s at least um, that I think will potentially get rewritten as maybe even world university and school can plan for this lifelong learning approach to for people to 150 years of age to 3,080 years of age possibly um, and with artificial intelligence and machine learning and uh, large language models and um, MIT Open Course for Eccentric Wiki World University and School. Agenda item four, uh, can, this is uh, a recent video that I found on my smartphone from Google research regarding a program, uh, Music LM, and some recent Google research research. Uh, agenda item four, can artificial intelligence decode the music you're listening to? Field notes, that's the title of the YouTube video from Google research and uh, involving the research of Google uh, Zurich's Timo Denk, 
T-I-M-O-D-E-N-K. And uh, Osaka University in Japan researcher Yu Takaji. And they worked with a music LM program, which reconstructed so what someone, the music someone was listening to from fMRI brain scans, and then played this back as the music LM program heard it from the fMRI brain, fMRI brain scans, as I understand this. And I'm curious further at World University and School with a long interest in what the on off switch for loving bliss neurophysiology might be, say from listening to music or uh, say when being in love, for example, how such a program might uh, affect loving bliss research. What is the brain chemistry? What are the neural cascades of pleasure that emerge when one is eliciting loving bliss neurophysiology? Uh, how could one study this further? And Yu Takaji is a neuroscientist, knows parts of the brain, especially regarding uh, vision and hearing. Timo Denk, I think, may have been a key uh, coder, computer science, of the music LM program. And this offers fascinating potential for uh, a whole variety of research and at World University and School and even in a realistic virtual earth for brain science and even regarding uh, brain chemistry, such as dopamine, when one's listening to music, uh, and even regarding a realistic virtual Harbin hot springs for STEM research, for brain research in these regards. Uh, agenda item five, the abolition movement, abolishing the wrongful buying and selling of people at World University and School is growing. Uh, World University and School is seeking to code for all 7.9 billion people on the planet and in 200 countries and for speakers of all 7,168 known living languages and seeking to grow this abolition movement. So abolishing the wrongful buying and selling of people in the illegal sex, drug, violence, exotic animals, weapons, nuclear industries in all 200 countries in order to protect people and uh, seeking to code for all 7.9 billion people on planet Earth in order to end poverty too. And potentially with also Stanford Mind Pie cryptocurrency, which you can get right now on your smartphones by mining it daily, clicking two buttons, taking less than five seconds at mindpie.com forward slash SGKMAC and start accumulating Pi cryptocurrency. Uh, this abolition thinking for me emerges uh, partly out of a Quaker witness, friendly Quaker, unprogrammed, non-theist friends way of thinking. And John Woolman in the, I think, uh, 1700s sought to persuade, convince Quakers and friends that abolishing the wrongful buying and selling of people, particularly slavery, uh, among Quakers was uh, a way to proceed among Quakers. This has a long history. Uh, the Anti-Slavery Act occurred uh, in Britain in around 1833, and the Abol Emancipation Procl Proclamation in the United States um, uh, emerges in around 1865. Uh, which leads also to the civil rights movement of the 1960s, uh, particularly for the victims of slavery and racism that uh, preceded this. And 
it's an interesting thing to grow uh, potentially an abolition movement in 20, the 2020s anew. Uh, agenda item six, uh, is it, it's time I think to grow uh, the university and newspapers at world university and schools universities um, and potentially the at the world university and school press too and with distributed matriculating MIT open courseware centric WUAS students and others from their homes in all 200 nation states where World University and Schools seeks to grow major online universities and in their main languages. And for WUAS local news even, or with WUAS local news. And this is a set of tweets from the other day uh, also. Uh, and it retweets, um, John Palfrey, who's the president of the MacArthur Foundation's tweet, uh, which quotes uh, someone named Kevin, I'm forgetting his last name, uh, who said, uh, so this is a John Palfrey tweet of Kevin, we are at an existential moment when where many publications are shutting down or struggling Local news has all but vanished, and larger publishers have fraught relationships with leading technology companies. And Kevin was uh, a founder, a co-founder of uh, the newspaper, the online news, news source Artifact.com, and this tweet is about shutting down Artifact, which developed pretty fascinating uh, news, artificial intelligence, and news machine learning that uh, World University and School could uh, see building upon by our matriculated distributed students in all 200 countries, our potentially distributed students and others uh, among speakers of all 7,168 known living languages to potentially also grow a brand new approach to local news. So local news to where students and WUS universitians uh, are in their homes in all 200 countries and in, in states in all of these 200 countries. Uh, exciting opportunity here. Uh, item 6A, um, this, there's a brief video uh, that explains how Artifact, the Artifact app, which is now closed, uh, works. And uh, check it out. It's in the WUS agenda and news. Uh, and it's only around three minutes long. Agenda item seven, just checking to see if anyone might want to join us at this point. I'm not seeing anyone. Um, There are fascinating state-of-the-art developments with artificial intelligence uh, in this 15-minute video at uh, Google's I.O. 2023 uh, conference from Mountain View, California, with Sundar Pichai presenting this, so from about eight months ago or so with uh, an artificial intelligence as product focus. And in a set of tweets in response to Sundar Pichai's video from the Google IO 2023 conference opening, uh, how can Wiki World University and School in Google since around 2015 and the WUAS Press, also a Twitter feed at WUASPRESS, best collaborate and apply artificial intelligence to make uh, World University and School AI, W-U-A-S-A-I, a hashtag in Twitter, helpful for 
everyone, all 7.9 billion people in 200 countries. And Sundar Pichai has very much a focus on Google's state-of-the-art AI is becoming helpful for people, which is great. And further, agenda item 7A, how best for MIT OpenCourseWare-centric Wiki World University and School to collaborate further with Google artificial intelligence? This is also a question for Peter Norvig and other Google AI people and other people interested in joining this conversation. Uh, agenda item eight, uh, the last agenda item on the World University and School Wing, MIT Open Courseware Centric Wiki World University and Schools Nonprofit Wing. Um, recently, at the end of December, saw a presentation of CoSchool.ai, AI teaching assistant in India. Uh, great and fascinating developments with CoSchool.ai. Uh, and thanks especially for the GEG Google Educator Group's Ahmedabad video recording of uh, become a teacher of the future with coschool.ai. Check out this video. It's only 20, 25 minutes long. And especially thanks to this great presentation about this by Gayatri there, a teacher in India. Uh, and brainstorming. Agenda item 8.1, uh, and this is coming into conversation with this video now a month later. If Indian students were learning computer science with Lego education robotics, how would coschoolai.ai facilitate learning this as a teacher, teaching assistant? And how even could Google Bard AI conversational generative AI interoperate with this coschool.ai chat GPT-2 generative AI. Since Bard knows much about Lego education robotics and these kits, which I found recently by asking Bard AI robotics questions. And the coschool.ai uh, AI learning software, AI teaching assistant, is very India educational standards focused, CBSE. And I think primarily at the high school level. And so my, con my seeking uh, to ask these questions uh, also is um, appreciative for uh, the India approach to education, uh, not beyond perhaps the CBSE, the India Educational Standards Association, um, for its, uh, and Gayatri's focus on um, bonding with the teacher in India as being key, which this codeschool.ai keeps as central. So the AI teaching assistant, codeschool.ai, is a help to the teacher. The teacher can find engagement tips. The teacher can find uh, learning resources uh, that they can then use in the classroom, primarily the physical classroom. In the actual presentation, I also asked about CoSchool AI um, virtually for homeschooling uh, and got a great answer from Gayatri. But uh, in regarding engagement tips and bonding with the teacher as being central to CoSchool.ai in Gayatri's presentation, and as, an, as a sociocultural anthropologist, uh, having written my first large book about virtual actual Harbin Hot Springs in Northern California and regarding uh, sociocultural anthropology's focus on cultural relativity and also regarding the USA's different diversity 
than India's diversity. I'm appreciating uh, coschool.ai's and Gayatri's India, Indian teaching cultural perspective that bonding between the teacher and student is something very important to build on with coschool.ai and with chat GPT. But I also think that this is different in the United States. I don't know that bonding uh, between students and teachers in America's diversity uh, is as central in teaching theory, say out of the Harvard Graduate School of Education, as it might be as Gayatri presented it, presented this, or as might be behind the India Educational Standards CBSE uh, thinking as well. I also uh, was appreciative at, in this video at about the 12 minute mark of the Languages Celebration Day that this video pointed to, the CO coschool.ai video pointed to, and regarding potentially uh, all 22 scheduled languages, official languages in India. I was also appreciative of this Co-School AI, AI teaching assistant for its uh, curiosity triggers, which are CBSE India aligned, this educational standards organization in India. And appreciative also of at 16 minutes of the learning activities it, it offered and regarding tr uh, triangles in ge geometry uh, example that is in this video that Gayatri shares. So appreciating the triangles example and regarding CBSE, India Educational Standards, India students for India students, um, again, uh, my questions at World University and School go toward, and even regarding World University and Schools planned online degrees in India, in India's 22 official languages, uh, what about hands-on and play-oriented computer science and robotics learning in India, which this co-school AI presentation by Gayatri did not touch on at all? And even regarding MIT Open Course for Eccentric Wiki World University and Schools planned online free degrees and courses for speakers of all 22 official languages in India. And see the blog post from uh, Thursday, 118, 2024, January 18th, 2024, uh, in the daily blog and regarding uh, partic particularly India and uh, Lego Robotics at WUAS Educational Services Stores. Uh, these are fascinating emerging developments uh, for how possibly India might engage new approaches to education uh, they build on their cultural practices, India's cultural practices, um, but might uh, also allow for a focus on computer science in a playful way and robotics as a science in a playful way. And uh, further in this agenda item eight, um, changing focus a little bit. Thanks also to the leader and organizer, Dr. Vishal Varia, Varia uh, for sharing in a related email with this coschool.ai video recording that he sent me, uh, a course that he started in Google, Cla Google Classroom called New Age Digital Skills, join Google Classroom for free. And it would be interesting to see how coschool.ai might emerge in Google Classroom with all of Google's artificial intelligence resources. And as coschool AI, computer scientists and coders and programmers 
further develop CoSchool AI for India's CBSE standards and similar. And I also shared with Dr. Vishalvarya and um, Gayatri and others who were part of this presentation, a course that I have in Google Classroom since about 2015 called Information Technology and the Network Society, Information Technology, the Network Society and the Global University, which could also be for even English as a second language, ESL for Indian students, for example, in some ways. It's a URL in classroom.google.com, this course. And it's also um, regarding uh, how could Google Classroom be developing for and with generative AI uh, and regarding chat GPT. So maybe outside of the Google artificial intelligence uh, platforms, which include Bard AI and Palm and Lamba and some others. Uh, and uh, might it be a good idea for Code School AI to key in on Google Classroom in developing CodeSchool.ai's AI artificial intelligence teaching assistance in India, even since, for example, Google Educator Groups in India, GEG Ahmedabad, GEG. Puna and similar um, already have uh, a big engagement in India uh, with all of Google's artificial intelligence. And further in this agenda item eight, in our last 12 minutes or so, uh, my upcoming book is titled uh, probably Information Technology, the Global Society sorry, Information Technology, the Network Society and the Global University. And I sent this in an email also to Dr. Vishalvarya and Gayatri and other people in this presentation, codeschool.ai. And how to translate it into all 22 official languages in India, and even with machine translation at the academic press at World University and School, potentially with a Google Translate focus uh, so that uh, codeschool.ai's and these artificial intelligence uh, teaching assistant programmers in India might engage the contents of this book so that Indian students might be able to read it in all of its 22 official languages and enjoy it, this history of uh, and the sociology of information technology, the network society and the global university, uh, such that reading um, also might come to play a role in coschool.ai's AI teaching assistant teaching and possibly regarding this book. And furthermore, brainstorming wise, could I focus this book uh, toward uh, also um, not only college students and the general reader, but possibly high school students as well, uh, so that high school students might enjoy this book and possibly might even matriculate at World University and School. Uh, so agenda item uh, 8.2. So this is uh, going further in this uh, coming into conversation with this coschool.ai AI teaching assistant presentation from India, thanks to Dr. Vishal Varya and um, Gayatri, uh, and regarding what artificial intelligence is and makes possible, and even a philosophical question of what agency or autonomy or personal action or intervention, which is one, which are two definitions of agency. I think free will too, uh, but free will is a very problematic concept uh, in the West. Agency is a better word perhaps. Uh, appreciating too that it's not easy to get one's mind around this idea of artificial intelligence. Uh, there's a picture of a Toyota, 
Proace van being tested, I think in Norway or similar, that on the side of this van, it says, I'm driverless. And that this van might be run by artificial intelligence and machine learning uh, and thus have um, no driver. So no driver's agency, no driver's action, no driver's um, personal intervention. And so thus might have its own agency. So artificial intelligence, machine learning, having its own agency, its own freedom, its own autonomy is a set of uh, developments in computer science and artificial intelligence that might affect how CoSchool.ai uh, further codes its AI teaching assistant. Um, so my question further to India, uh, CoSchool.ai and Dr. Vishalvarya and uh, Gayatri and uh, Google Educator Groups India is how to code further for these I'm driverless benefits for students with AI teaching assistants. So AI teaching assistants might not have a teacher behind them either eventually and might be able to guide students uh, as artificial intelligence in different ways than actual teachers in the classroom in India might. And so with India students, for example, US students as well, directly, directly engaging AI generative conversational machine learning. How can students then develop uh, even their own agency action or intervention, especially such as to produce a particular effect so that students become the drivers in a sense which happens maybe when they make Lego robots with a uh, scratch programming language. And apart from the teacher, uh, so in their own students learning in India and with AI generation. So uh, could students playing to make Lego robotics, Lego robots become autonomous coding wise? So could students learn about agency by coding their robots to have agency uh, with uh, Lego Robotics and the Scratch Programming Language out of the MIT Media Lab and the Harvard Graduate School for Education, and thus helps India students develop their own agency and also as lifelong learning. So these are interesting new developments with artificial intelligence and complex to think through what agency means uh, in terms of artificial intelligence and programming coding for AI teaching assistants. Um, so I think um, lastly, perhaps, um, Again, what is agency, uh, e.g. free will, think in terms of students and teachers maybe in India. Uh, and more uh, relevant here, does AI, artificial intelligence, have agency yet or already? So one definition, again, is personal agency is the ability to initiate and direct actions toward the achievement of defined goals. Uh, students creating their own robots that have agency, autonomy, might be uh, giving students further agency through playing with robotics, uh, Lego robotics, and playing with related programming languages. And uh, lastly, does AI have agency yet? A question I searched on in Google. Does artificial intelligence have agency already? Here's a good uh, sentence regarding maybe how to conceive of how AI may be gaining or finding its way to having agency or the ability to drive on its own, 
using the driving metaphor for agency. Uh, so the AI co-pilots, this is a, a quote uh, that I found on Google regarding does artificial intelligence have agency yet? The AI co-pilots are still handing over the initial agency to humans by waiting, waiting for the input. But after that, they start to make decisions for us humans, for us, without we knowing what is happening. And what are the rules or the decisions that this is based on and so on? This is in a medium.com uh, article about in response to does AI have agency yet? Interesting possibilities ahead with uh, agency and or uh, and AI so that AI might become its own driver. Uh, check out the WUAS agenda and news if you want to read these further to think about them more, uh, these ideas further. Two agenda items in the WUAS Corporation wing of World University and Schools WUAS monthly business meeting today in the last three or four minutes. Um, circling around to uh, the first minute from, I think it was the December 16th, 2023 monthly business meeting regarding um, our WUS Corporation's partnering letter with Stanford Mind Pi, cryptocurrency, um, and how to proceed with that further in World University and School, um, planning to code for all 7.9 billion people on the planet, each a Wikidata PIN number, uh, and potentially uh, even for merchants beginning to sell things with Stanford Mind Pi cryptocurrency. Uh, agenda, so check that out also from 12-16-2023's monthly business meeting. Agenda item B, and this came out of planning for the curated coaching, the acceleration projects meeting on Thursday, January 18th, 2024, just before uh, the meeting. And it lays out a, uh, a sort of set of developments for the WUAS Educational Services Stores, Physical Digital, and Information Technology Planning. Uh, so agenda item B1, uh, brainstorming. Um, here are the very beginnings of the online WUAS Educational Services Stores at worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash academicpress.html with WUAS Lego Robotics and, w and WUAS Academic Press Books, not yet translated with machine learning, the books that is. There are about five books there. Agenda item B2. Uh, here is you at World University and Schools wiki subject, wiki.worlduniversityandschool.org, you at World University, with WS planning to code for all 7.9 billion people on the planet in 200 countries. At uh, similar related wiki page, wiki.worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash wiki forward slash nations underscore states. And for example, in India World University and School, wiki.worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash wiki forward slash India, not yet in India's 22 scheduled languages. And in these 200 countries' main languages, and wiki. Uh, dot worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash wiki forward slash languages with a capital L. Agenda item B3, and here's the Pi cryptocurrency link where you can start to get Pi, and which might uh, relate to you at World University and School, pi, not mindpi.com forward slash uh, SGKMAC. So we're coding for all 7.9 billion people. Mindpi might emerge uh, with regard to this Pi cryptocurrency link, and even regarding two email addresses that have disappeared for World University and School WUAS, 
the meeting at worlduniversityandschool.org email address and the info at worlduniversityandschool.org email list. Were these uh, adopted by Google or similar uh, to begin to code for all 7.9 billion people on the planet? I, I can only wonder. Uh, meeting at worlduniversityandschool.org has also stopped working. So um, these uh, there's actually three email addresses that have disappeared. Meeting at worlduniversityandschool.org, uh, info at worlduniversityandschool.org, and live stream at uh, worlduniversityandschool.org. Um, and here, I, agenda item B4 is the Wikidata Backend Structured Knowledge Database uh, for AI2 and in Wikipedia's 300 languages for MIT OpenCourseWare itself which world university and school has been in since around 2013 or 2015. Um, and agenda item B5, and uh, this is even in planning for a WUAS, uh, this is a hashtag in Twitter, realistic virtual earth for Lego robotics. In one realistic virtual earth, on the virtual or online side, and Peter Norvig, uh, this is, how would this work? And agenda item B6, and as we grow out these educational services stores with the above IT, how to grow a value-oriented retail, physical, digital, WUAS educational services store or stores with a similar product line initially to Walmart, which is maybe in only 24 or 25 countries, according to one web search uh, I came upon. Uh, but we're seeking, WS is seeking to be in all 200 countries, um, but with products costing on average 5% less than at Walmart. And this would be so for at WS educational services stores for price and quality. And in WUAS seeking to hire 2.5 million people in the next 50 to 75 years, and code for all 7.9 billion people on the planet, each a Wikidata pin number. And agenda item B7, um, how to plan concurrently uh, for um, a, and this is with regard to possibly two flagship stores in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, one on Walnut Street in Pittsburgh, uh, and um, one at the Waterworks Mall in the recently closed Walmart, near the Fox Chapel suburb um, of uh, Pittsburgh, um, how to plan concurrently for a, a first physical WUAS educational services store in India uh, and potentially near a Chase, a JP Morgan Chase bank in Chennai, India, for example, or uh, numerous other places in India. Um, as well as possibly close to Google's headquarters, uh, Google headquarters in India and an Apple store in uh, Chennai or India. Uh, and I found an address of a JP Morgan Chase Bank in India, in Chennai, India, uh, uh, in the place called the Canopy in uh, Tamil Nadu, India, South India, uh, where Tamil is spoken. And I found a Google Street View address of uh, possibly another Chase Bank in uh, the city of Mumbai on the west coast, Chennai is on the east coast, southeast coast. And this would be also for outreach on this, these uh, WS educational storefronts for free MIT open courseware centric world university and school WS degrees from students' homes. Uh, so free bachelor, PhD, law, MD, and IB high school degrees or similar, AAAS. Uh, and master's degrees, some involving WUAS Lego robotics. Uh, so again, on the storefronts and around the world, uh, potentially with students matriculating into WUAS by taking a Lego robotic, uh, Lego Spike Prime WUAS home robotics course and uh, possibly emerging out of this uh, Lego robotics course from MIT OpenCourseWare. You can search on this, ocw.mit.edu. Lego Robotics from the year 2007. Uh, so that's an um, exciting set of possibilities for further developments with World University and School. Um, this monthly business meeting on January 24th 
2024, Saturday at noon Eastern time. I'll post the recording of this video to uh, World University and Schools active YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Scott McLeod World University. I also post it to our six Twitter feeds, our two main Twitter feeds, twitter.com forward slash W-O-R-L-D, U-N-I-V-A-N-D-S-C-H, and twitter.com forward slash W-U-A-S press. Uh, S-G-K-M-A-C-L-E-O-D at World University and School is the email address. Uh, there are also the uh, two recordings from 2024's WUS News and Question and Answers, uh, which meet on Mondays at 10 a.m. Eastern time, one from Martin Luther King Jr. Day last Monday, January 15th, 2024, and the other from uh, Monday, January 8th, 2024. Check them out on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Scott McLeod World University. And until this Monday, January 22nd, 2024, uh, 10 a.m. Eastern time, 7 a.m. Pacific time, I think it's 7.30 p.m. in India. Check your time zone from around the world and join this open conversation. I'll post access to the Zoom URL on Twitter. Uh, until next time, um, next monthly business meeting is the third Saturday in February uh, at 12 noon Eastern time. Uh, until then, uh, stay warm this winter. Uh, WorldUniversityInSchool.org is our homepage. Bye for now.